I'm working right now on a series of poems from the perspective of women saints. So this one is called Saint Rita's Body. The day we dug up Rita, it was misting, and a humid veil covered us as we worked. I was expecting the fetid smell of rotten flesh, so I held my nose as we lifted her from packed soil. But her body was found and corrupt, a sweet smell still issuing from her lips. Our local priest asked me if my men and I dropped to our knees in thanks for the miracle of Rita's moist, pliant body. I did not have the courage to tell him we dropped her back into her grave out of fright. I do not tell father of my refusal to visit her glass boxed body, afraid she will open her mouth and tell how that evening I snuck into the graveyard and placed my dead son into her hole and cursed the Lord when I discovered the next morning maggots feasting upon his equally praiseworthy body.